what's going on with Gateway City Arts. Sure. So, so as you know, Gateway City Arts closed doors on March 12th when we really started to realize that this is a serious business. And uh, we, a couple of days before we decided to close, we had 700 people in the building. And it was booming. The people were everywhere. The, we had a concert uh, in the main hall going on. We had smaller concert in the theater and we have the restaurant packed with people. And at the same time, I have been starting to feel like, are we nuts? You know, this is, this is really getting serious. And um, I remember that that night we announced uh, after the concert, we asked people to call us back just in case somebody will have any symptoms. So we can, we can also inform our uh, visitors if there was any kind of outbreak or anything. Luckily, it feels like nothing happened. And two days later, we sent everybody home and we, we basically remained for another two months uh, trying to um, do the curbside pickup, the food, which became like the only thing we could do at that time. And even that was not really possible because um, you know, uh, the income we had from it was nowhere near to be able to pay people that they were working there. I don't know if people know, but at some point we had about 40 people working at Gateway City Arts. You know, not, not everybody was of course full time, but that's a lot of people considering what was going on. And, and then once, uh, once we closed, all these people were gone. Uh, it became very apparent that, you know, at the end it was just me there. So I don't know if you can imagine what it's like if suddenly all these people disappear and you are left with everything. I, I, I can tell you that there is still today set tables in juts with glasses and silverware because I did not have time to get to it to put it away. And right now I am for months and months now, just basically a maintenance person who is making sure that the building is a leaking water after rain, there's broken pipes, you know, there's so much work to do. Plus little by little, we had to turn down the appliances that were no longer used. Um, the, the beer cooler, you know, required a lot of work to, to clean up, to turn off. There was also a lot of food left that had to be processed and put, put away in, into freezers. So we didn't have to ditch it and we didn't have to waste it. So, you know, I spent weeks and weeks doing just that, like cooking whatever needed to get cooked, uh, vacuum seal everything, putting it in freezers and do that kind of work. So when people were asking about, and people do ask, are we gonna open? Uh, you know, when are we gonna open again? I just try to explain that, you know, it's not for, for Gateway City Arts, this is not like jumping in the car and turn on the key and start it. We have been driving a freight train that took eight years to get to, to the momentum and the speed that we were operating at. And then believe it or not, it took months and months to stop that train too after we closed the doors. So anybody to just imagine what it would take to, to go ahead and start again, it is almost impossible task to think about right now. So as we uh, move forward into this unknown territory, um, we do still have a lot of um, tools, we have sound equipment, we have editing equipment, we have, we have a, a recording equipment, right? So I have, been, I have been trying to utilize that and realizing, well, the only thing we could do if we do anything uh, would start with the Small Works Gallery. Um, and uh, as the time progressed, you know, we did traditional, do this um, exhibit of small works um, 
every uh, uh, winter in ho uh, in holiday time, which is a perfect opportunity for the artist to meet the artists they already have done those shows or to meet new artists. So there is a great group of new people that they, they came and uh, participate. And um, also it's a great opportunity for uh, people to shop a presence for holidays. That's why also we, we call it the small works because it really, it has been originally limited 12 inch by 12 inch in any direction which also kind of dictates the price unless people use diamonds and gold, which has never happened. <laughs> so so uh, for that, the, the small works exhibit is always real fun. And um, this year it seemed to be doable to do it um, in the virtual environment. And so what we did is we uh, put out the call for artists and we got 30 artists sign up for this, which is wonderful. And the artists are from, most of them are local from, um, from our area. And uh, I would say all of them. And again, you can see, you will see little jewelry and sculpture and paintings and uh, crafts. And you see, you will see also uh, people who are very, um, advanced artists and, and experienced and established. And you are also gonna see people who are starting as beginners. And that to me is always a wonderful way of presenting and inviting newcomers into the community of artists. Because after all, you know, we all learn from each other and we, we inspire each other and then um, we grow together as an as a art community that way. And uh, that's another reason why I like this small works uh, concept is because it's, it's a manageable way of introducing a lot of people in the same time, you know, and, and the, the social aspect of it is, is really important as well. So this, this project, this uh, exhibit that is going to be the small works gallery online exhibition Yes, it's beginning this December fifth at five p.m. And this being a virtual event requires to have a link to access. So, yeah. how can people get to register and be present for this opening virtual event? So we are going to be, uh, we of course promote it like any other opening, and then at five p.m. Uh, on that day. Uh, you go to the website and you just click on on a um, uh, on the link that is going to be made made available at that moment, and that is going to open a video that is already pre-recorded because to manage thirty people live would be probably very difficult. So we have been we have been uh, collecting the the artwork from from people. Um, then that is included in the video. And we have been also interviewing two minute short interviews, every artist or everyone who wanted to be interviewed. And that is gonna be included in that video as well. So you are gonna, you are gonna actually hear people talking and there's also opportunity. There's already a lot of interest. People wanna buy the work. So, you know, by the opening, if you will be the first to wanting to buy something, you know, you are going to have a time limit to it. So, so it's, it's really important that, that you are part of the opening if you want to end up buying something. Otherwise, somebody else is going to do it before you, which is also a little exciting about this too, you know. And um, then after, after the uh, opening, this video will be available you know, for anybody to see during the duration of the entire show. So um, I also uh, am very excited because the, the current sponsor of, of this show is Gateway City Live, which is a nonprofit organization that uh, Gateway City Arts and Gateway City Live work together on many other projects. And they, uh, the board of directors graciously agreed to, uh, um, 
to sponsor this show. What it means is, of course, there is a there is a cost to the artists, and there is a cost to um, to the promoting the exhibit, and um, they are going to be covering this cost, which is which is wonderful, because again, at this point, it's really uh, me <laughs> doing this, and then there is uh, there are three other people. They mostly volunteer their time. They used to work with us. They are still working with us, but it's it's a combination of payment and volunteering, because otherwise we would not be able to pull this off. And uh, my hope is that that this exhibit again will inspire us and the visitors uh, to to think about to be to be uh, positive and think about that no matter what's happening around the world right right now we are still very creative creatures and the greatest hope is in people and you know i um some of them some of the people who know that where i am come where i come from and um from czechoslovakia and uh, you know, uh, living through the communism and the collapse of it. I have seen the ingenuity of people many, many times. And I have the greatest hope that we are all going to make it happen. We are going to pull through this. We are going to come up with new great ideas and people just have that potential. So no matter what happens, you know, this exhibit is is part of that hope that that we are uh, still alive, we are moving, we are motivated, and we are gonna make something happen no matter what. And uh, that's the exciting part to me. Certainly a really exciting moment to have Gateway City Arts bringing this event. It fulfills different needs as of allowing artists to present their work to be seen, to be supported by people getting access to purchase those those items of art, to gather and keep this community of artists and creatives together, even though it is in a virtual setting, and also to continue, like you said, that that synergy of hope and creativity and 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 this need for continuing moving forward, regardless everything that is happening right now and seeing this event popping up, showing this is going to happen and is virtual, but we know is in the heart of Gateway City Arts, a place that many of us miss so much. It's, 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 it's a really great gift to have. It's really great to see this happening, even though it is still with the limitations of, of uh, our current situation with uh, the pandemic and and everything that comes with it. Right, right. And, you know, I also want to say that, um, again, many people ask about Gateway City Arts and its future. And to be honest, Lori and I, we, we really don't know what the future brings and uh, how we can move forward, if we can move forward. Anyway, the, what is going to happen is some something is going to move forward, and it might look very fragmented. It might look very different, but uh, something is going to move forward. And this exhibit again is an example of how we move forward. So 